Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the group feature to group sheets together so that when you type on the first sheet, all the information cascades through all the others at the same time. So down the bottom here, I've got one sheet. I'm going to get myself four sheets all together. So I'll just click that three times. And then if I double click on sheet one and call that Jan, and then Feb and then March and then total. Like so. I'll just put Ma and then total. So to group sheets, what you do is you start on the first one, Jan, you hold your shift key down and you click on the last one, total. You can see them changing colour slightly there, but Basically, that's all that happens. You don't get any more information other than that. Now, whatever I type on this first sheet is going to appear on all of them. So let's just get going with this. So if I type week one and just get myself five weeks and then a total, pull that across. And then we'll just do income, expense and balance. Income expense and balance so i'll just put all borders on so if i drop this little borders tool down go for all borders which i think is this one there we go and then i want that area oops and this area colored yellow that'll go orange orange so that's everything's how I want it and make it a little bit bigger. Let's just go and put a title in there and call it sales and marketing. Like so sales and marketing and I want that merged and centered across the middle. So I'll highlight across the top and then click on merge and center to bring that into the middle. Now I need to do a couple of formulas to work out the balance. So it's going to be equals B3 minus B4 in there. Ticking that and then pulling that one across to week five. And then I need to do the sum function here. I can do the key command, which is alt equals. It doesn't pick anything up, but I can then select what I want it to look at, which is that top row. So B3 to F3, I'll tick that. And then... I can pull that down like so and then the last thing I want to do is highlight all of this and make it into money click on this little pile of coins there so that's in money so now that should have gone through to every single sheet now if I click on to February there's February exactly the same and when I did that it ungrouped the sheets there's March and there's the total sheet so the total sheet, I do want to change slightly because I don't want it to pick up the weeks. I'm going to get rid of these two columns. So I'm just going to delete these. And I want this to say Jan, Feb, March. So type in Jan and then just pull in that over. So it goes to February. And now I want to link these to the actual totals on the other sheet. So if I go equals, come down to Jan, click on the total. Check it says Jan G3, click the tick. I can pull that down for the expense because it's on the same sheet and just directly below, but I'll have to do it again for Feb. Equals Feb G3, check it, tick, pull it down. And then last but not least, March equals March G3, check it tick pull it down now what you need to do now is just check that that's going to work so i'm going to go on to jan and i'm going to give myself 10 pound income for week one and i'm going to spend five pounds so i'm checking that this bit works which it does i'm going to do the same for feb 10 and 5 and then the same for march 10 and 5 and what you're expecting is when you come back to the total sheet that, that will pick up 30 15 which it does which is great 
So now you could maybe do a little chart on there. If I want to put a chart on there, go insert chart. I'll just go for a basic column chart there. Not the prettiest thing. Um, that'll do. I'll just close that for this. Finish that off. And then click off that. Maybe able to resize this now. So it's a lot smaller than that. Move it over underneath there. Down a little bit. Make it a bit smaller. Like so. So that's the um, picking up this information. Um, it's actually picking up the months is in colours, which is okay. You can change that around if you don't want it. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. Basically, how you can group sheets together, type in consistent data and consistent formulas, and then add an extra sheet or edit an extra sheet so you can sort the actual total through as you want. So hopefully that little video is of use. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.